Whether you're taking a cross-country road trip or staying within state lines, you can avoid hearing the dreaded, are we there yet? <laughs> over and over again with just a few simple activities. Crafter Adina Anderson is joining us to share a few easy DIY projects. Hello, my Hello. friend. So I will say that I've already been playing back <laughs> <laughs> backstage. These are really cool, but a little bit of preparation ahead of time yes. goes a long it way really for does. a smooth ride. If you know where you're going for spring break, contact the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Like I contacted them over in Galveston, and they sent me the magazine and a coloring book, and it was really it, it made it easier to get something prepared, like this little book here. And, you know, we're, if you're staying at the Hotel Galvez, they have a ghost tour and a, and a hall of history. So you could have all this in here for the kids to do. So kind of making the kids making their own travel planner. Yes, exactly. And then at the end, they can use it as a scrapbook. Oh, put that's all their awesome. fun stuff in there. So we have, you know, Yahtzee in here they can pull out. And you put it in these little binder things here, these little plastic sheets, and that makes them um, so you can use the dry erase markers. Like with the Yahtzee and stuff, can you find some good things, I'm sure, online, online to print out and throw I in there? Online. Look, there's checkers, and this one's really fun, road trip bingo. So oh, that's a good things. one. <laughs> So wow, that's a great fun one. For them to do while, so you don't hear that, aren't we there yet? Because they're too busy having fun. So they don't have to worry about that. I love that, that they get involved and then they get excited for the trip and exactly. can kind of even map out the places that they want to go to. Yes. So let's move forward. You're kind of talking a little bit about checkers. And this was what I was having the best I know, time with backstage. I having so much fun with that. And she's like, where do I get these eyeball I mean, magnets? These are awesome. <laughs> yeah. I just made them with glue dots and eyeballs you pick up at the craft store. And they sell these little magnets. Now look here, I'll pull one apart for you so you can see. If maybe that's how good yeah, the glue like, dots are, right? That's glue. They just come right off of there like that. Okay, and you so just a little stick it on there, and you could do different colored eyeballs. They have different colored at the craft store, so you get pink eyes or blue eyes. And so how do you make ones. it so that this sticks to the cookie sheet? So this is just a the cookie sheet it automatically sticks to. And what I did on the one below it is I added the chalkboard <gasps> paint. So oh, that's cool. It's kind of triples, so it's a fun game. They can use it to draw, and they can also use it when they're eating in the car, so they don't make a big old mess. <laughs> it all covered. Yes, and so for the so how do I paint, make this? So you just need your regular cookie sheet. I put one coat of paint on here for you. And this is just the deco art chalkboard paint. Okay. And on the outside, I just use the real regular acrylic paint. You're going to put three coats, but so I'm, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to go on. Just go like this and, and you then you got to let it dry 20 minutes in between coats. See how it kind of gets that little weird look to it? Yeah. And if you have some sandpaper, sand it down first. <gasps> Because that kind of that helps down it, the, the cookie the sheet cookie first. Sheet, yes, because that helps it stick, and you'll you'll lose this little weird you know in in between look after. Oh, make sure coats. it's well ventilated too. Because yes, it's a little. <laughs> yep. Well, the next craft we're gonna do really quick before we run out of sure. time. Sure. Let's do it. This one you really want some ventilation okay. for. This is a kind of a chemical fun craft. <laughs> <laughs> I know. A chemical reaction over here. <laughs> yes. Awesome. So you just need a big bucket with some water, and these are just those um, paints that you can do for model cars, model airplanes. So dip some in there and just kind of squirrel it around. Now I'll grab another color. Whoop. There you okay. go. Here I'll grab some green. And so you want to put grab some. There's some pink and yellow, and kind of just spread it around like that. And okay. it's an oil-based paint, so it doesn't really mix with the water. And once you're so we're done, down to about a minute. Okay, I'm gonna have you put these gloves on too, real quick. Okay. So Ooh, I like the paint. <laughs> That's a neon. Woo. Okay, you're gonna put one glove because I just messed one up. No problem. So here you go. Put that on because when you get it on there, it's kind of hard to get off. You take your canvas, and these you can get at any craft store. They're okay. actually on sale right now, I think at Michael's or something. And you're going to place it in just flat. The whole and, thing? Uh, but don't dip it. Don't just kind of touch it and then pull it back up. I'm going to double there dip you go. mine. Okay. And then show what you got. <gasps> Isn't that cool? That is so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and you, the kids can make some art. You know, it, it rains all the time. So no take something along, go. a great tip. Take yes. a craft along yes. just in case for the rainy or day. Or if they're staying home for spring break, this is a fun project to do if you don't go somewhere. <laughs> Look at my artwork. <laughs> now you got to sign it and date it. <laughs> totally. That is so cool. Thank you so much no for problem. these great ideas. I love it. It's all so of it's on my blog, craftingwithadina.com. Well, there you go. I don't even have to give you the, the website, but just in case, again, it's craftingwithadina.com. Um, Adina, thank you so much. Thank it's always you. great to see you, my friend. You too. After